Hello cloud enthusiasts! If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be the first to receive tutorials on new AWS services. In this video, we will explore what streaming data is and what use cases it can solve. Often we need to bring in external data to be processed by our application. There are two ways to ingest data, batch mode and streaming mode. Consider a person who walks into a cafe and orders a coffee. When he swipes his credit card to pay for his coffee, the card data is sent to the issuing bank in real time. Within seconds, the bank verifies that the card has enough balance and responds with approval. This is an example of streaming data in which the records are continuously generated and are sent right away for real-time processing. This data is usually small in the order of kilobytes so it is easy to transfer and process. Streaming data is processed on a record-by-record -record basis. Some other examples of streaming data include log files generated by various systems sent to a centralized location for further processing and storage. Gaming platform. Gaming platform data is constantly being collected on players' activity. Or IoT devices are continuously sending sensor readings for analysis and storage. The issuing bank also receives daily transaction records in flat files, which are processed by batch processing jobs to settle the funds and pay the merchants. This is an example of batch processing in which the complete set is processed for deep and complex analysis. MapReduce-based frameworks are mostly used for processing batch data. This concludes our short video on understanding the difference between streaming and batch processing. 